Welcome to our first edition of the Pen Tool series. This will be a five part series that will cover basic to advanced approaches to help you use the pen tool effectively within your day to day design to achieve a professional finish. Throughout these videos, you will notice that we've made a simple wallpaper. Uh, we've put this together just to help you identify when is the best time to use the pen tool and why you should consider the pen tool as your first option. In this video, we'll go, we'll go a lot slower than seen previously in any of our other videos, just to give you a chance to understand the pen tool before we actually get into using it. So let's look at what we have here. Why use the pen tool? Well, the pen tool allows you to create really sharp vector images within Photoshop, allowing you to produce perfectly shaped edges without any pixels. Design custom scalable shapes. Shapes created with the pen tool are 100% scalable. What do I mean by this, I hear you ask? Well, if you try to enlarge an existing rasterized or flattened image or a shape within Photoshop, you'll usually experience pixelation, distortion, or just reduction in quality. So creating shapes or logos with the pen tool avoids this problem. Editing flexibility. Once you've created a design or a path um, with the pen tool, you'll always be able to click back on the path and adjust or manipulate the shape. Now this isn't something that's possible with flattened images or rasterized images. So this can save a lot of time if you later find that you have changes that need to be made. Create accurate smooth edges. If you haven't used the pen tool as yet, you may have already found that, that you have slight um, pixelation around your custom designs, shapes, and most particularly when trying to produce straight lines at an angle. Now the bonus to using the pen tool is that it's the same tool that's used within Illustrator and other Adobe related softwares to create vector designs. So once you've mastered it in Photoshop, you will find it very easy to use the tool in any other Adobe software. Smooth brush stroke control. Now the pen tool is great for helping you control your brush strokes. You simply spend a few minutes to create the path that you would like your stroke to, to be on um, before applying your desired brush to produce smooth and precise strokes. Now on the right hand side of this, uh, this screen you'll see a list. Now this list is just to help you know when's the best time to use uh, the pen tool. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll explain some of it anyway. Um, now you use it to make shapes, um, create logos, to trace, um, design digital illustrations, and to create vector uh, masks as well. Now this wallpaper that's on my screen is available for download, so I would strongly suggest downloading this as a simple tool to help you remember the many reasons why and when you should be using this tool. If you check the description link of this video, you'll be able to find the download links there. Now that's the introduction part of this video out of the way, let's move on to the actual ex exercise. And just a quick disclaimer before we jump into this though, um, we do use Macs and Macs only. So if you are a PC user, um, you're still very much welcome to follow this tutorial, um, but you will have to forgive me if I don't mention any of the relevant PC keys. Uh, what I will do, however, is uh, name the full terms of any short keys that, that we may be using during this tutorial. This will just help give you the opportunity to locate all functions mentioned for your PC. So today we'll be working from this worksheet we've created. It's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, you don't need to concentrate on any grids um, at this stage as we've incorporated some faint grids within this worksheet. Now if you just look at the bottom right of this worksheet, you'll see eight pen tool icons. Now we thought it would be a great idea to permanently place these icons here as a constant reminder of what each function does. Now I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but um, we'll definitely cover most of these functions um, throughout the series. Now you understand the layout of the worksheet, let's start making some shapes. So now, learning how to create shapes is one of the most easiest ways to start practicing with the pen tool. Over the next few minutes, um, we're going to be working from um, working with lines to creating and manipulating curves. Firstly, let's start with this square. Now before we make this shape, you'll need to make sure you have the pen tool selected from your toolbar. This can be found on the left hand side. Okay, now we have that selected, um, we want to look to the top left hand corner of this screen and we'll see um, the option toolbar. Um, now on the option toolbar, we want to make sure and ensure that we have the shapes layer um, selected. Now to check this out, um, just like I said, go to the top left hand uh, side of the, of the screen and you'll see three buttons next to the pen tool. Um, now one of the, pen, one of the shapes are called um, shape layers, um, the next one's paths and the other one is fill pixels. So just make sure we have shapes layers selected. Now that's the square icon with four points around it. Now um, this, this will basically allow us to make sure that all of our, um, our, our paths are made into vectors. Um, so everything that we make today is going to be created in vectors. It will be filled and produced solid shapes. 
Now let's get back to that square. So we're going to go over to the top left hand corner and click the center of the yellow circle to create our first anchor point. Okay, um, so now we have that first anchor point. Um, basically the anchor points, um, the, the pen tool uses anchor points to identify um, the edges of each shape. Um, now once we have an anchor point um, in its place, it works like joints or, or hinges even. Um, and basically it's, it can be moved at any point in time to transform your shape. Now on this worksheet, all the yellow circles represent anchor points. So we're just going to go ahead and, and, and click on the center of all of the yellow circles here, um, moving clockwise around the square um, to ensure all uh, points remain uh, connected basically. Okay. Now to close this shape off, all we need to do is uh, finish it off by, by clicking back on the original start point. However, if you hover over the start point before clicking it, um, you'll see the close path icon um, as it's shown at the bottom of this work, uh, worksheet. Now this is Photoshop's way of letting you know that you're about to complete a shape. So we're going to do the exact same thing now with the triangle and the pentagon. And as you do that, you will be able to see the close path icon as you go to close off each part. So let's click there and we'll click the top of this triangle. Okay, now as we hover over here, we see the closed path, and then we'll just click that, and that closes it off. Okay, and we'll do the, the other shape as well. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but as I'm doing this, it's, um, it's automatic, Photoshop automatically creates a new layer um, over to the right. I don't know if you can see that, you may have noticed that already, um, but it does that automatically for you. So let's continue filling this shape. Okay, and then we'll go and hover over this part just to show you that closed path again, and bam, there we go. Right, so now let's move on to the circle. Now we'll approach the circle in a very similar way to how we made the last three shapes. However, this time we're gonna introduce handles. Now handles control the shape of a path from a specific anchor point. Now an, an anchor point with, without handles, uh, it will produce straight lines, whilst an anchor point with handles produces curves. It's also the length of the handles that will determine the type of curves you produce. So if you look over the exercise sheet, you'll notice that we've placed indications as to how long each handle should be around this circle. So we're going to start this shape firstly by holding the shift key. Now, whilst we're holding the shift key, we want to click the center of this yellow circle and we want to drag upwards to create the first anchor point and handles. About there, we'll do it. Okay, and we want to repeat this um, across the, the, the other three points, ensuring that the last point that we click um, on this circle um, is just clicked. We don't click and drag the last point. So let's just carry on with this part. And then making sure we hold shift. It's very important to hold shift to keep those angles at a right angle. That keeps the angles perfectly straight. Okay, I went a little bit out there, but it's not a problem. This is just a, for exercise purposes. Um, and then on this final one, you can see the closed path uh, option again. Click that and that will uh, seal it off. Okay, so that's great. Um, and that's basically how you create uh, vector, solid vector shapes using the pen tool. Um, now, I hope you found this, this tutorial easy to follow. Um, and this tutorial has given you a little bit more insight as to, as to a few of the pluses of using this tool. Now, please be sure to comment, um, like, or even send us your video response to let us know how, uh, how this tutorial helps you. And obviously, if, if you've used this to create designs, we want to see how you've been able to use this technique in your designs as well. Um, now, remember, both of the wallpaper and the exercise sheets um, used today um, can be downloaded from the description of this video. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video where we'll be looking at brush stroke control with the pencil.